Okay, so we've done a lot of work so far to log the user in, check for any errors, and then grab all the user data. Um, but we're going to focus on something really short and sharp in this part, just to you know give you a break if you're following this all the way through. Um, now, um, uh, just one thing to mention: because we've created all these different functions uh, inside of our like users.php file, for example, this gives us the ability to be really flexible and, and and use code over and over again, which is obviously the point of creating a function. So like we can use logged in again and again. In this part, we're going to check if a user is currently active, if a user's account is active while they're browsing the site. And if they if their account for any reason is deactivated, uh, i.e. I change active from one to zero for any particular user, we're going to log that user out. We're going to force that user to be logged out. So what I'm going to be, what I'm going to do is within if logged in equals true uh, within this block, I'm going to create another conditional statement. Now I want to check here if the user is equal. Uh, sorry, if the, if the user is um, user's account is active or not. Now we've already created a function for this called user active, and we use this within the login. Remember, if the user's account has not been activated, we can't log them in. Uh, we haven't actually created the ability to log uh, to, you know. Um, activate the account yet but we'll be doing that later on so we can use this function again uh, so while the user is browsing the website if they if we activate their account then uh, deactivate their account then it will force them to log out simple as that it's something that's not often considered so I'm gonna say if user active is equal to false and what do we pass in here well we pass in user data Username, and remember that uh, we're grabbing the username from here. So let's go back and take a look at our um, our user active function. We're sanitizing the username. We are selecting the count, the total rows from users where the username is equal to username and active is equal to one. Uh, otherwise, you know, if it's equal to one, we return true. Otherwise, false. So you know. Um, so in here, what do we do? Well, we're going to use session destroy as we used in the logout.php script. Um, we could, in fact, just redirect them to the um, to the uh, the logout script. But if a user, for example, has modified a browser to disable headers um, or not allow any header redirects, then we don't get the effect that we want. We don't actually uh, log them out because if we're just redirecting like this, location logout.php, then this might not work for a user. Um, so um, I'm here going to session destroy and then I'm going to redirect them to the index page and then I'm going to exit the script just here. So uh, let's go ahead and test this. Uh, I can be happily browsing the site, you know, nothing's happening. I can be clicking on these links that we haven't created pages for yet, blah, 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 blah. And then I go into my database as an administrator. I edit this row. I deactivate uh, Alex's account and click go and then I refresh and I'm logged out simple as that so that's a really great great way to have a lot more control over your users and if you do want to deactivate their account uh, while they're browsing the site you can do so and that's just a demonstration of how we've reused a function that we used for an entirely different thing we used it for the login process and now we've just used it to check if a user's account is active while they're browsing the site so relatively straightforward and a bit of a break from all of the long stuff we've been doing. But there we go. We have successfully created this functionality to log a user out if we de deactivate their account.